Good morning. I welcome members to the 11th meeting in 2015 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and ask members to switch off mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed we take item five in private. This is further consideration of the Delegated Powers provisions in the British Sign Language Scotland Bill. Do we agree to take these in private, please? Agreed. Thank you. Does the committee also agree to take in any future consideration of its stage one report on this bill in private? Thank you. Gender item two, instruments subject to negative procedure, the Crofting Counties Agricultural Grants Scotland Variation Scheme 2015, SSI 2015-105. The instrument inserts a definition of commission delegated regulation 640-2014 into the principal scheme, which is not required. Does the committee therefore agree to draw this <coughs> instrument to the attention of the parliament and to the general reporting ground as it contains a minor drafting error? The committee may wish to note, however, the Scottish Government has undertaken to remove this reference on the next occasion on which the principal scheme is amended. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Aquaculture and Fisheries Scotland Act 2007 Fixed Penalty Notices Order 2015, SSI 2015 113. Is the committee content with this, please? Agenda item three, instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Land and Building Transaction Tax Scotland Act 2013, Commencement Number 2, Order 2015, SSI 2015-108, nor the Landfill Tax Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 3 and Transitional Provisions Order 2015, SSI 2015-109, nor the Revenue Scotland and Taxpayers Act 2014, Commencement Number 4, Order 2015, SSI 2015-110, nor the Certification of Death, Scotland Act 2011, Commencement Number 2 Order, 2015, SSI 2015-115, and nor on the Tribunals, Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 2 Order, 2015, SSI 2015-116. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yes. Thank you. Agenda Item 4 is the Assisted Suicide Scotland Bill. This item of business is consideration of the response from the member in charge of the bill to the committee's Stage 1 report on the bill. Members have seen the briefing paper and the response from Patrick Harvey, MSP. Do members have any comments, please? Stuart. Um, thank you, convener. Um, I welcome the uh, member's response in relation to uh, the phrase best endeavours that the committee previously made comment on. Um, I, th I think the process that he's proposing, uh, whereby uh, he, he would look to amend his bill at stage two uh, to create an obligation on licensing authorities to immediately alert facilitators to any directions uh, is welcome. Uh, and he's suggesting that travels with an obligation on facilitators to comply with any directions to which they're alerted. Now, I, I, th I think as far as I'm aware, um, the whole business of directions being given that affect people who are not themselves uh, a public authority or part of a public authority it is a little bit unusual. So it's important that this process uh, works uh, in relation to any legislation, but particularly in this uh, legislation that may affect uh, the, the future life or lack of uh, for, for people affected by it. So I think that there is perhaps in process terms one further step that the member might care to think about and that is requiring that the facilitators when advised of directions, new directions or changes to existing directions acknowledge to the authority that they are aware of these changes uh, thus closing the loop uh, particularly important in contexts where these are individuals not part of a public authority uh, and of course where the whole issue is a matter of life and death and I think it would be useful perhaps for us to uh, write to the lead committee or indeed the member in charge uh, in those terms if other members of the committee uh, see it the same way as I do. Indeed, thank you for that observation. It does occur to me that there might then be a duty on the licensing authority to do something if the loop hasn't been closed, which then might beg a question as to who's going to police that. But nonetheless, I think the point is fairly made. Do members have any other comments? John? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I agree with what Stuart's saying. I mean, I, I just feel the whole uh, 
tone in here is that the kind of licensing authority seems to do the minimum, and I accept there has to be a minimum that they do. I just feel in other areas where licenses are issued, the licensing authority might be a little bit more proactive in, in dealing with a whole range of things, be it taxes or illegal fishing or, or whatever it might be. Um, but I guess we are where we are, and at least if we're raising it, uh, that's acceptable. Okay. Any other comments? Well, given those comments and I think the suggestion from Stuart Stevenson that we should write to the lead committee in those terms, which I, I'm happy to propose, is the committee content that we do that, please? Yeah. Thank you very much yeah, indeed. Really sure. late in the day, can I just say, I mean, I'm, I'm still not certain that um, the member's response is, is adequate, I mean, uh, to the, our concerns about best endeavours and just would want to highlight that to the policy committee that I still have concerns about the, the, um, the member's view that it is sufficiently clear um, as to the full meaning of best endeavours. Uh, I'm not certain that it is sufficiently clear quite what that means. Well, I think we have the option to do two things. Um, firstly, to point that out, and secondly, to point out the Stuart, uh, Stuart Stevenson's suggestion as to how that might be accommodated with the variation in words which the member has himself suggested in his response. So I think we can address both. Stuart? Um, just to say that the understanding I'm basing my remarks on is that uh, the member in charge intends to remove reference to best endeavours and replace it, re uh, to quote... Uh, to recast it as an obligation on licensing authorities. So I think perhaps the best endeavours, it, it, it is intended that that be removed. That's my understanding, and of course I may or may not be correct. Well, thank, thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think we need to be... We need to be clear that the member is suggesting that there are routes that could be followed. I'm not sure that he's necessarily saying I am definitely going to do that, and I think we need to we need to work on the on the basis that that might not come forward and make our own suggestions. Uh, can I just can I just ask? We've clearly got those two issues which we will write about. Are there any other issues in either in the response or possibly even not in the response? I think this is probably our last opportunity to contribute as a committee at this stage. Okay. The first item um, where the um, what's what's the person called that will, the facilitator um, he will acknowledge from the license authority the changes that have been made could we confirm also that he confirms he will follow those changes as well there's not much point saying you've read it and signed it but do we not need confirmation that he will adhere to those changes as well I'd, I'd like to suggest he will have no option because, mm -hmm. the, as, as suggested, I think he's going to be duty-bound to comply. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, saying that he will comply mm -hmm. is something that's unnecessary because he will already have agreed, if he's a facilitator, yeah. that that is what he will do. Yeah. But it does beg the question of what happens if he doesn't yeah. and, and how do we close this and how is it to be policed and audited, etc. Uh, I'm sure those are issues that the policy mm -hmm. committee is considering in great detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. that was my other concern. How do you ensure that he's following out those mm -hmm. rules and guidelines? It's a very fair question. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that does that cover it? And I'll put together a letter, which I hope covers all those points. Thank you very much. I think that concludes. Um, well, formally, are we happy to note the response and and write in the terms that we've discussed? Yeah, Thank you. Great. I think that concludes item four which brings us to item five, which we will take in private. So I now close this meeting.